Hello there people, Attila the Great here and I will bring you another online battle of Total War Room 2 and this is the um, the tournament uh, which I already explained a couple times in my previous uh, battles uh, this is my uh, opponent, second opponent uh, from the ACL clan GVB and uh, that game I ended up as Victor, I played as Pontus, he played as Macedons and this is the second round so basically what I did explain for those who doesn't know of course I'll do explain yet again uh, this is a if I'm not mistaken I don't know if they're either sponsored or just supported I don't know exactly uh, it's CEA supported or sponsored um, you know ROM2 open ship open tournament whatever they, whatever it's called uh, I forgot anyways uh, as, I, as I explained, um, we are four in one group, and this is my second opponent. My third opponent, I already played as, and I will up upload that those videos after this one. So I'm just gonna go per individually first, of course. And for today, um, by the way, did you do you guys notice anything different by my voice? I mean, I think I cleared out some mistakes which I had uh, with my blue Yetai uh, mic but I think now it's quite alright I think well I'm not 100% there yet but you will hear some clicking sounds from a mouse and my uh, keyboard probably you will hear, hear some sounds from that too but I'm gonna try to figure out uh, how to fix that as well so in due time I hope you guys have patience with me and which you have so far and I thank you for it of course you guys are simply the best I mean honestly I cannot ex you know expect any better subscribers than you guys so you all, you all have my love and heart so you, you gotta know that I do thank you all from bottom of my heart so without any further ado let's continue this battle and he's playing as Arverny this time and I picked the wrong by the way the tournament rules are maximum twice uh, of a faction, faction I didn't know that and um, I do want to thank King of East, my first opponent, which I played as. He uh, warned me actually. He's like, <laughs> "How many times did you play as Rams? Like twice." I'm like, two times." So okay, he says, "Yeah, so you know you can't play anymore like that. So don't break the rules." I'm like, "Oh, wow, damn, nice, good to know." And yeah, let's continue now. Is there any difference with my Roman build type? Yes, it is actually. This time I went with two auxiliary uh, calves, three uh, legionary calves, of course, one uh, general bodyguard. I upgraded one of my um, auxiliary calves. I got three Syrian archers. Oh, damn, I got six Evocatic cohorts for this fight. Okay, nice. And two Hastatis and two Vigilis. Yeah, this, this is a total new build type. I thought to myself, since um, I'm playing as a Julio Caesar. Julius Caesar, is it Julio? Julio? I sound like a Latino when I say Julio, I think. Yeah, Julius Caesar. Um, I, th I thought to myself, I gotta have a really good, uh, strong Roman army. So, since I'm playing against Vercingetorix, 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 I, I am so bad at pronouncing names, honestly. Anyways, I think it is Versing the uh, and he's, of course, he got the Gallic armies called the Arvernis. And let's see his build type. Oh, damn, we got a lot of naked warriors, man. Do I dare to zoom in? Zoom in? Let's go in. Let's go in. Now we don't see that much. Okay, let's see from the back. Oh, we got the asses. <laughs> a lot of asses here. Anyways, he got uh, two naked warriors. And he got one old sworn here. He got another naked warrior and another naked warrior. There's a lot of nudity here. He got one spear warrior in the front. He has uh, Celtic slingers, uh, three units. He has heavy horse here and noble horse. And I do believe that there are more units, but they're all probably hidden here and here. So let me go through the tactical. And yeah, I've been getting so a lot of good feedbacks about my tactical point of view as well, and I want to thank you for that. I, it gives me such pleasure, honestly, it's such a pleasure. So I'm gonna keep on doing this forever. Now, since I know that I got superior heavy infantry units, I mean, now that I've seen his naked warriors standing in front of me, 
But I do gotta wonder how many odd swords though, because uh, till now I can see only one. But I'm guessing probably one more or any chosen swordsman perhaps, I don't know. But that, for me, uh, to be honest, um, I don't think that will be that much of a bigger deal because since you got six, if you got the cohorts and two Hestatis, so these guys are on the front line. And basically we're gonna get in there like slow and slow, not running of course, not running. I'm gonna get in from the woods here, trying to be hidden. And uh, because I know that he's got hidden units here and here. And so basically what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna get in here like slow, right? I'm gonna get in there slow as well. And see, when I see that his armies are in front line, I'm gonna start uh, using my heavy shots and then I'm gonna send my troops to hit uh, one each. So it's gonna be one on one. And then, and then uh, when I see his visible using units, like I'm gonna try to catch them with my other units, like uh, look at the course, since they're in the rears. Yeah, and Vigilis, uh, of course, are gonna back up the cap fight. So yeah, we're gonna have a huge fight coming on soon and hope you guys will enjoy this. I will explain a little bit more uh, with the drawing as soon as I see more units coming forward. So uh, why not just fast forward a little bit more? What is this? Okay, we got some units here. Okay, there you go, heavy horse. We got the heavy horse there. All right, there we go. He's trying to flank me with another heavy horse there. He has uh, another hero horse there. See what I do now? I am trying to harass him. See, I wanted to attack, but then he he, he saw that he didn't want to risk it, so he backed off. He knows uh, that my legionary cast. Okay, I mean, actually, cast would beat them, but uh, plus I get my uh, vigilist to back up, so he doesn't have any backup, no spear, no nothing. So let me the pause here. Okay, let's see what's his what is up to so basically now I know for a fact that he's got his uh, scattered armies like all over the place and I know that he can flank me and hit me hit me in the back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay still with my general I'm gonna stay still stay put and when I notice that if any cabinets would try to approach I mean I'm gonna send him my general bodyguard to repel because I don't want to use my I'm, I don't think yeah my student archers would matter in this fight, but still, you know, you don't want to lose them. At least if they get like yeah, 50 plus kills, that would be really good. So, yeah, basically, I'm gonna stay put and see what he's up to, and not make him try to outflank me in any way. So, but when I notice that uh, uh, infantry units, if they would be to you know be successful in this fight on uh, on this against these guys. Then I know for a fact that I would uh, don't be a bother about my archers. I would just, you know, I would just risk it. I would, I wouldn't care if these guys died. So let him have his fun. Let him try to outflank me. Let him try to kill my archers while he's occupied while doing so. I will kill the rest of his troops. So let's go into the battle now, shall we? He backed up with the old swans. And then that was a good, that was a good move, actually. And now his horse here came into my the horse, knocked down some few men. And now he's pulling through. He's pulling through, and now I'm sending my cabinets to repel them. My general bodyguard, of course. See, I'm engaging here as well with the cab fight. Same goes for this flank. My vigilants are helping out. It's a big battle there. Now this, let's see if these are chosen swordsmen. Yeah, they are chosen swordsmen. All right. See, thank God I am killing these naked warriors really fast. And now he's trying to pull through again with his noble horse, but he's being halted. There's no chance I would let him come through and kill my archers. But then, as I explained earlier, when I noticed that my uh, melee fight is going real good, I would not bother you know anymore with my uh, archers because. You can see that uh, I killed many men and now I'm pulling through here Coming in with my cabinets and I'm gonna hit these slingers And you can see that these guys are starting to waver And I'm gonna do the same on the right flank because I'm winning the battle here So I'm gonna send these guys in to help out and kill these guys See he's pretty occupied killing my archers but that isn't going so well for him His noble ho uh, sorry legendary no, noble horse are being caught up with my hostatis Now 
my absolute cavs are coming in to kill well try to kill at least this general and you can see that many of his uh, infantry units has uh, rotted not them all but mostly naked warriors though and the battle here is going pretty okay as well i managed to kill well not entirely slingers but a couple of them anyways uh, these guys are wavering but now they're back because they've been halted by these uh, spear warriors and until i realized that i don't think this guy is going to survive for that long but you can see that the cav fight here is going really good he's losing his chosen swordsman and uh, he will have a horse here naked warriors are starting to you know wavering and now the battle over there has been successful as well chosen swordsman are starting to break here and now i'm just trying to you know chase whatever left of his armies old swords of course they are enduring as they should till i route them it's gonna take some time i believe let's watch the, watch the fight here in 101 we got the rewards versus chosen swordsman i mean oh man see one thing you do enjoy about this game is the uh, cinematic modes i mean it is really gruesome sometimes i mean look at the oh he gave him a nice header and now those guys has been routed and the rest of his troops are finished and i gotta congratulate my opponent he did really good and yeah it's a gg so let's see the stats here so i ended up uh on two opponents uh, so far I ended up uh, winning four times zero losses and uh, that's pretty good it gave me some good confidence uh, I gotta say at first you know you, you're kind of like worried and uh, since you don't know your opponents uh, you always think like oh my god um, will I be able to beat him or not even though it's a friendly tournament still you know a, and besides I mean now the CA as I explained earlier now that they are involved in this it kind of feels important for me to get through like at least I want to go through the group stage right and uh, if I go to, through the group stage and come to the uh, is it the quarterfinals is it or something like that that will give me a uh, good pride in myself I mean uh, happiness and if I lose in quarterfinals I, I wouldn't care because as long as I, you know, as I told you, I mean, if as long as I just get out the group stage, that's fine for me. Uh, then I know that for a fact that I've done a good job and I'm proud of myself and that's it, no more than that. And since it requires, I think, only four points, it means you're automatically to the next level. But still, I still have one more um, opponent to face and I want my uh, other two points as well. <laughs> So yeah, but we shall see that afterwards. And here you are the stats and my cabinets, except for these guys, the uh, rest of them did really good job. I mean, 125, 168, superb, 74, only 57. I guess these guys didn't do much. I mean, they didn't lose that many men. So they still had 85% men left. And then my archers, well, as I explained earlier, at the beginning, sure, I mean, I could have used them but then again that when I noticed that my melee fight was going really well for me I, I just you know didn't bother anymore so when I saw his uh, flanks uh, pull through with couple cabins and trying to hit my archers I you know I was like yeah whatever yeah you, you, you deal with them I mean <laughs> that's just I mean um, I don't know this is just a decoy I would say for me these guys uh, just a decoy he is pretty occupied with his cabin is fighting against my archers and I'm dealing with the rest of his troops so I uh, so yeah uh, you can see my cohorts holy damn man 114 148 140 183 158 126 uh, this is excellent I mean I couldn't you know ask for more than this so even my hastatis I mean look at it 58 53 and my vigil is 60 46 uh, this is insane right this is a really good job there and on his side yeah his uh, cabin is 143 here 
with the Hero Wars and he got 58, 110. I guess these guys uh, killed a lot of my archers. And 42 slingers, okay, nice. Oh, my heck. No, I didn't miss that Gallic Hunters, did I? Anyways, that uh, Naked Warriors, <laughs> he got 87 with these guys and 75 with these guys, so these two did really well. And 86 with the Old Swords, so he got only one though. And Chosen Swordsman, they didn't do that much, unfortunate. And only 37 kills with the Spear Warriors. So, you want my advice on this Orvani build type? I would say, first of all, skip the Spear Warriors and bring in two Levi Freeman to help out your calf fight. Uh, as like, a, you know, same as I did, Vigilis, cheap units, uh, good with the Spears against a uh, calf fight. Well, I mean, if they would uh, face one heavy horse and alone, I don't think these guys would stand a chance, but, you know, sending in your calf to, you know, attack his calf units and then just afterwards sending your Vigilis or Leo Freeman, that would be excellent. Uh, that would, you know, you can see 60 kills, I mean, that that that, that, that number just t tells everything. So, skip Spear Warriors, bring in uh, Leo Freeman, they're cheaper and more effective than these guys. And I would rather go with two Old Swords than just only one. I would totally skip the Naked Warriors because, well, <laughs> first off, their armor sucks. They don't have any armor. I mean, they just got their butt cheeks open, and you know, it's really easy to kill them. And if you want to use naked warriors, I believe that these guys are good. Like, um, let's say that you were attacking me on the frontal charge with your chosen swordsman, and then when they're busy fighting one on one against these guys, you could just bring them in from the woods uh, when you know when I don't even notice them and just hit my men in the backs. That would be excellent. But bringing four of them is pointless. So I would rather go four chosen swordsmen, two old swords, two Levar Freeman. I would totally skip uh, the slingers because um, even though these guys, you know, managed to get 42 kills, I could have easily taken them out much earlier. But you know, as explained, I didn't bother because, um, to be honest, I don't want to sound cocky, as, you know, anything like that. But you know, uh, I was, as I explained earlier, I mean, I, I was watching. My every cut is doing so well in this fight that yeah I didn't bother in the beginning like yeah I was like yeah whatever let him hit me so um, heavy horses I would not say anything about them because they are a good option really good choice for this fight so uh, two old swords one of them general skip the noble horse bring in um, six heavy horses and perhaps three galicanters with that. And uh, skip the naked warriors, bring in four chosen swordsmen. That's my advice. I mean, if you want to play as Arverni, which I really love, I mean, to play them as, I mean, uh, they're really quite effective. And I believe that, um, if I'm not mistaken, my last opponent, I think I played as Arverni in this tournament. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to subscribe for more and hit the like button share this favoritize join me up on google plus and facebook and twitter and i shall see people later take care